Hey everybody, Val Mosier here from Roper Mountain Science Center with... I'm Erin Daly, and I'm also at Roper Mountain Science Center. And today we're going to be talking to you about light and the behaviors of light. Now Erin, you have something kind of cool there? I do. Um, this is called um, a Fresnel lens. And um, is it making me look any different than I normally look? Any <laughs> um, stranger? I think so. <laughs> um, so this causes light to refract. Um, which, you know, we call refraction when the light passes through it. So cool. Definitely look different. Now we can do some refraction with this object right here. You guys may know what this is called. This is called a prism. So when light refracts, just like it did through the Fresnel lens that um, Ms. Udaly showed us, it bends. And when we bend white light through a prism, we're going to see something, something you may expect. So I'm going to let you guys make a prediction of what you think will happen. We're going to shine right there over on the wall and it takes a second. All right, there it is. We see something. All right, guys, hopefully what you see is the light spectrum or the visible light spectrum, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Now, um, white light is made up of many different colors of light um, and we can, um, see that when we bend the light through the prism. Now, I want to use this as a source of white light. Um, we can also see how white light interacts with other objects. We describe some objects as whether they're transparent, translucent, or opaque. And let's see what that means. Now, I could use this flashlight, um, but our white light, you know, it's fine. It's great. But I think we could use something a little bit more fun today. We're going to use our laser light. Now, laser light is um, a special form of light and it's one particular kind of wavelength or color of light and you can see our lasers are green here now have you guys noticed um, as the light passes through the different objects we can see on the red tiles what the result is so as it goes through the transparent object you pretty much see all the light go through the translucent object only lets some of the light through look how much smaller our little dot is so a lot of the light energy has been absorbed by this object all right, and then our other material right here is opaque. That means it lets none of the light through. So we don't see any of the laser light on our tile. Now, um, Ms. Udaly has something she's gonna show us, a little special effect spray, and go ahead. All right, now, it happened very quickly, but you guys can see, all right, we can see our laser light, and it's very strong right here because all the light went through kind of barely super small, fine light right there. Hard to see because so much of the energy is absorbed, um, but still some passing through. And then our opaque, absolutely none of the light passing through. And we can also see that light travels in straight lines. All right, guys, so that's our quick um, light experiments today. And you got to see some behaviors and properties of light. Thank you. Oh, and around your house, maybe look around and see if you can find objects that, that you see are transparent or translucent or opaque.